so the next group is polar uncharged r groups so what are the amino acid that belong to this group serine threonine cysteine asparagine and glutamine are belongs to the polar uncharged r groups now the amino acid which are belongs to polar uncharged r groups are more hydrophilic than the non polar amino acids what are what is the reason behind this the functional group of each amino acid that are belongs to the polar uncharged r groups able to form hydrogen bond with the water that is why these types of amino acids shows more hydrophilic nature than the molecules which are belongs to polar sorry non polar aliphatic or aromatic r groups now cysteine cysteine is very important important amino acid in this group the oxidization of two cysteine molecule able to form cysteine two cysteine molecules are covalently linked with the help of disulfide bond to form the dimeric compound that is cysteine the nature of cysteine and cysteine are totally different cysteine is polar and more hydrophilic on the other hand cysteine non polar and hydrophobic due to presence of disulfide bond so oxidizations of two cysteine molecules form a dimeric compound that is called cysteine 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 play a very important role in stabilization of protein cysteine the disulfide bond between the cysteine molecules form between the parts of a single polypeptide chain or different polypeptide chain and this character of the cysteine maintaining the conformation of the protein or you can say it helps in the stabilizations of proteins so the next group is polar uncharged r groups so what are the amino acid that belong to the polar uncharged r group so this group include so this group includes serine serine threonine threonine the protein amino acid sulfur containing amino acid that is cysteine asparagine asparagine and the last one that is and the last one that is glutamine glutamine so these are these are the five amino acid that are belongs to the polar uncharged r group so amino acid now the amino acids amino acids with polar uncharged r group so relatively high solubility in water than non polar amino acid because functional groups of these types of amino acids form hydrogen bonds with water so amino amino acid with with polar uncharged polar polar uncharged r groups polar uncharged r groups 
तो relatively, relatively, relatively high solubility, relatively high solubility, high solubility in which in water, in water. So amino acid with polar anchor dot group, so relatively high solubility in water. Then non-polar amino acid, then non-polar then non-polar amino acids non-polar amino acid such as glycine alanine proline pyrene leucine isolation methionine phenylalanine tyrosine tryptophan means non-polar aliphatic r groups or aromatic r group amino acid what is the reason because because functional groups because functional functional groups because functional groups form functional group form hydrogen bond hydrogen hydrogen is a type of weak bond covalent on the other side is a strong bond hydrogen bonds we also found hydrogen bond in nucleic acid so hydrogen bond is with water molecules with water molecules so water so amino acid with polar anchor ion groups so relatively high solubility in water than non polar amino acid because functional groups of this type of amino acids able to form hydrogen bonds with the water now the next point that is oxidization of two cysteine two cysteine molecules form a dimeric cysteine in cysteine two cysteine monomers are covalently linked by disulfide bond so oxidization oxidization of two cysteine molecule to two cysteine molecules to cysteine form a dimeric a dimeric compound dimeric cysteine dimeric cysteine in cysteine in cysteine two cysteine monomer are covalently linked by disulfide bond two two cysteine two cysteine monomer two cysteine monomer are covalently linked two cysteine monomer are covalently covalently linked by disulfide bond by disulfide disulfide bond so disulfide bond is a type of covalent bond and it is a strong bond than the hydrogen bond now so this cysteine cysteine is polar but cysteine is non-polar so there is a difference between the between the nature of the cysteine and cysteine although the cysteine is formed from the cysteine cysteine is polar cysteine is polar but cysteine but cysteine is non-polar hydro due to presence of di due to presence of disulfide bond or you can say cysteine is non-polar or hydrophobic or hydrophobic hydrophobic due to presence of disulfide bond now this disulfide bond between cysteine residues between the parts of a single polypeptide chain or two different polypeptide chains. So this disulfide bond form. So this disulfide bond, this disulfide bond between two system residue between 
between two sustained residues so this disulfide bond between two sustained residue form either either in different part either in different part of same polypeptide chain same polypeptide same polypeptide chain or between different part or between different polypeptide polypeptide chain so this sulfide bond between two cysteine residues form either in different part of the same polypeptide chain or between the different polypeptide chain